Hi guys, it's Peter Doyle here, Precision Fit Golf. I uh, just want to talk to you briefly about shaft flex and why the average golfer shouldn't really get preoccupied with the label on a particular shaft. I'm going to show, show you some instances here of particular shafts that we use, the data that we've created, and explain what's going on with each one. So I guess at the end of the day, no matter what club you have in your hand, the average golfer just wants to hit the ball in a straight line, okay? So it's important to know that. And um, the good thing about the exercise here is that you've got three different shafts. Um, one is regular, says it on the label. One is stiff, says it on the label. And then the other one is playing somewhere between the two. So saying like maybe a 5.5. .5, so that's maybe firm, all right, for argument's sake. The thing is though, that all three shafts, because they're all from a different manufacturer, there is no standard as such. So ironically, the mid one, which is a 5.5, is 3.2 degrees of torque. So 3.2 degrees of torque is very, very stable, okay? The stiff shaft that we have is actually 5.0 degrees torque and above. So that means anything that's five and above is really, really flexible, okay? It's gonna cause the ball to spin high, and we'll show you that, okay? And then what we have is we have the regular one. So ironically, the regular one here in this case is from a different manufacturer again. Now, that's interesting note about this regular shaft. It's just a touch heavier, it's a few grams. So what you'll see in this instance is that it helps me to release the club more effectively. So not only do we have the complication around the torque in the shaft, which can create excessive spin, you also have the issue around shaft that if you don't have the right weight, guys, that you might not be able to release the club properly, you might not be able to square the club properly, and you might not be able to hit the ball in a straight line, which is what most golfers just want to do. They just want to keep the ball in play. So once again, it's handy to notice that like uh, you saw all three strikes. The attack angle on three is, is normal enough. It's about three degrees up on the ball. That's normal enough for me. Um, but the one that says stiff spun the most. That was like 5,000 revs on a windy day. And it's a good example on a windy day because the thing is you're trying to show what happens if I do play in conditions that are not, I suppose, your normal sort of... I suppose we, we crave for conditions where the, to play golf where it's always a nice sunny day. We don't always get that, right? But that's interesting. No, it says stiff on the shaft and yet it spun the highest out of the rest of them, right? Then what you notice was even more complicated made weird is that you'll see the one that was 3.2 degrees of torque. That's a 5.5 .5 degree. And once again, about maybe two and a half, three degrees up on the ball again, which is optimum for me. But you see that the spin I got was about 4,000 revs, I think. And once again, if you look at the specifications around the shaft, it's a mid to high launching shaft. So even though it says 3.2 degrees of torque, it's basically spinning still just a little bit higher. But the craziest thing about the whole lot was that the one that said regular gave me the lowest amount of spin into the wind and also gave me the ability just to turn it over a little bit more and put the ball in play. So no doubt you're all very confused after watching that and thinking stiff was going to give me the best data and that regular was going to, probably going to give me poor data. But it just goes to show on a windy day like this that it was actually the regular shaft that gave me the best spin and best overall distance and best control. It's not necessarily doesn't mean that you have to go to stiff the whole time, but it means you're going to keep the ball in play. It's actually the worst case scenario, guys. You could buy a stiff shaft on the opposite spectrum to what we've seen today where it's so bloody stiff that you can't actually square the club face and the ball just flies out to the right. There's nothing worse than losing the ball, right? In this instance today, what you saw is that this shaft was labeled stiff, but ironically, it was like nearly five, five and a half degrees of torque, which means it spun really, really high, which means the ball took off, nice trajectory, but suddenly just fell out of the air quite quickly, all right? So if you need any advice around shaft, shaft specification, and more importantly, the correct installation of the shaft, come and talk to a professional club maker. That's what we specialize in. Uh, during the fitting process, we'll explain what the spin rates mean, uh, club face angles, etc., and what the optimum shaft will do for your game. You may want to hit the ball in a particular way. You might want to hit it high. You might want to hit it low. You might want to fade it. You might want to draw it. And going into a shop situation, hitting into a net, especially if they're not sharing data with you, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of your investment. And what's going to happen is you're going to lose another season fighting to get that driver working when it's never going to work. We will start to bring you into a newer world, show you that um, golf installation, especially by a club maker, can make your game so much more entertaining where you're not going into having to buy stuff every year. You can get on with your game, you can enjoy your golf, and then we can get more people playing the game again. Because at the end of the day, it's a great game, and everyone likes to be able to enjoy their golf, but there's nothing more frustrating than why something that's wrong. It's been a pleasure talking to you once again. If you want to contact us, you can email us at peter.reprecisefitting.com. 
um, look out to, at our website, which is obviously www.precisefitting.com, or you can contact us on any of the numbers that are listed on the website. If you like what the video, please do just tell your friends and maybe subscribe to the channel. Once again, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope to speak to you soon. Take care.